to speak to that all around. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Baker, Chairman of CBS News. Sharif was 
man's name we had to convince. We did all that night work in Damascus. It cost us several bottles of scotch, pretty good scotch, that, that were all consumed. But by the time we got in uh, and were, were met by the um, young 15 and 16 year olds with Kalashnikovs who were going to guide us to their training camp, we got stopped by a Syrian patrol. And they offered for a significant amount of cash to um, take us to Baalbek, which was the, the, the town that was um, the headquarters and the home of uh, this fledgling group, Hezbollah, which had started to take Americans hostage. And I thought, hmm, I'm not sure I want to go there. But uh, our translator, George Anidi, is a great a sound man who um, said to us, they want to take us to Baalbek. Think of the pictures. Think of the great story we'll have. And, and then he said, and think of the stories you'll be able to tell your grandchildren. <laughs> and Groff said, without losing a beat, first of all, we aren't going to ball back. And second of all, I don't want any goddamn grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go. We went with the Palestinian fighters. Uh, and really, the most important part of the story we were able to capture after several days, which was that they were doing live training. And it was not a risky thing for us. but. These were kids that had been family members uh, or friends of someone who was massacred at the refugee camps outside of Beirut, the famous massacre at Sabra and Shatila. And they told the stories of why. These were kids, they were covered, their faces were covered, but they told the story of how they would do whatever it takes, blow themselves up anywhere. It was a new kind of terrorist. And it was because of what they witnessed, uh, hundreds of people. Uh, it was important. Uh, it's what we were able to convey. It's what we reported, uh, and we were very proud of it. Uh, I want to talk a, a little bit uh, about something different, because when we got, um, you know, I, I actually I think the most important message there is how, how difficult working overseas can be, and you all have experienced a little of that already, uh, but I think it's very good for you. Uh, I think the other thing that in terms of uh, changing gear, is that what someone alluded to just now, you don't see a lot of it, international reporting. You don't see enough of it. And uh, I think that's because the conventional wisdom, particularly in broadcast journalism, aside from it being risky, which it is, and we see what happens to our own reporters. We've lost people in war zones, and we've had uh, our correspondent, Laura Logan, went through a terrible thing. Uh, these situations are risky, they're dangerous, but, and they're expensive which uh, is also an obstacle. But then there's this, which is that 